Hi friends! Welcome to 30 Inks, 30 Days, Day 17. Um, I have my whole page open so you can see where we're at. It's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Here's that splat. I did blot this spot right here because it was taking forever to dry. Like minutes. <laughs> no, for real. Quite a while. Um, but check out, like, this shimmer is no joke. Beautiful. Um, but and here's this. And this writing. That was yesterday. Let's move on to today. So, today's ink is going to be Troublemakers Polar Lights. I like this one and I haven't used it in a little while. Um, as you can tell, I'm still congested, so that's a thing. Anyway, I'm going to put this in my Twisby Eco Clear with the 1.1 stub nib. Um, here's the the shimmer at the bottom, like the color changes depending on its um, angle to the light, if I'm not mistaken, because like it looks red here, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this isn't even shimmer. Maybe this isn't even ink. Who knows? Anyway, and my drink today is hot chicken broth that I made from chicken bones. Oh yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. It was a little bit hot. I hope I didn't just burn my mouth, but I almost always do. I feel like this is just becoming bubbles right now. Okay, now we have our things. Here's our syringe, automatic pen, some of these things ready. What's our order of operations? Hold the pen. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, we go. We go. We go. Oh my gosh, the pin wasn't ready. The pin wasn't ready. Hurry up, Maria. Hurry up. I'm pretty sure there's ink in there, not just bubbles. But I was right when I said I was making bubbles. I think it's actually mostly bubbles. So. Hopefully that has some ink in it. The pen is submerged in ink. <laughs> Look, my, my eyes don't see so good no more, okay? Okay, I think I've cleaned off the pen. We're gonna just shake it again. So how are you doing these days? We haven't talked in a while. <laughs> or ever. Um, what's going on with you? I hope you're all healthy and well. Um, I'm not under the weather. I've been watching a program on stalking because when you are ill, well, when I am ill, I watch a lot of trash TV. Are you the same? Are you trash TV watcher when you're ill? No shame for myself or you, if that's the case. I like how the words appear. Like, it's like magic writing. You might not be able to see that, but I can see it. I like it a lot. Okay, so we're gonna put the cap on this. Now, is there shimmer? Oh yeah, I get there's shimmer in there. So I'm watching, what was it called? Buying Beverly Hills. 
I was I was excited for there to be way more about houses in that show than there was, <laughs> unfortunately. Okay, this is Troublemaker Polar Lights. Uh, my Twisby Eco Clear. 1.1 and the drink is chicken broth I think it's funny that they sell like you can buy containers of bone broth this is where we've gone it's actually like super easy to make oh, apologies to the vegetarians out there who don't want to hear about how I make this when I just do my book you know where I write down the recipe maybe skip it if that kind of thing bothers you um, my sister has gone through various stages of vegetarianism and uh, I don't know where she's currently at I support her you know not my choice, but it's the right choice for a lot of people. Okay, shut up. Okay, 30 inks, 30 days, April 2024. What did I say? 17 days, 17 ink. Troublemaker Polar Lights. This is kind of a departure for me for the Troublemaker inks I own because I have Petrichor, Abalone, Foxglove, and Milky Ocean. And those are all like for very watery um, multi-shading inks. And this is like, you know, not that. Also has shimmer, but that's not as much what I mean. Pen. Twisby Eco Clear 1.1 Stub. I like doing this with this one. Oh, we didn't do that. The problem when you leave these shimmer inks is like all the shimmer winds up in the feed and then it dries. It's a real problem with 30 inks because like you're inking so many pens. Like I have, you know, 17 pens, plus those that were already inked when I started the month. I didn't clean all my pens, so I don't know, 20 pens probably inked, which I know is like amateur numbers compared to some people. <clears throat> um, but uh, <laughs> it's a lot for me. I can't, cause it can kind of feel like almost stressful. Like I'm ignoring them, which is, silly but you know feelings are silly sometimes but it's okay to feel them um now we're gonna do our splat there i tried to make it like all across the page to make it polar lighty but i just you know but what does that even mean you know i don't know Um, here, let's sip of this. This is too hot, but y'all, that is so good. Well done, Maria. I actually made that a while back and it, and it froze it. So it was, oh, I got some on the table. Wait, that might not be from today. Well, we'll clean it. Um, so let's come over here. I I'm not going to try and fit it at the bottom of this page, but turn the page. You could write on the back. What are your thoughts on that? It feels like late to start doing that since I haven't been. Okay. So. Day 17. Um. Do you like stub nibs? Um, 
them. I'm, not, I, they, I'm, 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 I'm hot and cold on them. You know, you have to, you have to pay attention and be more intentional in your writing. And it's not always for me. So they're good, but not for me. They're not good for like writing in my journals. Um, okay. And then we have. Chicken broth. So this recipe is from an America's Test Kitchen cookbook. Four pounds chicken legs, one onion. I use yellow water. I don't know. It's probably like two quarts of water. Let's just, I'm just going to put water. Two quarts question mark, two bay leaves, salt. So for this, you actually just cut the legs into two inch pieces. You need a cleaver for this and you got to have them with the bones, perhaps obviously, uh, bone and skin on, cut them into those two inch pieces and then you brown them. And then you add chopped onion and you cover it and you let them sweat together. And it becomes this beautiful, like a lot of liquid is released. And then you add, and that is like 20 minutes. You let them sweat, like, so you brown it. And you have to do that in batches, right? You brown it, add the, add the onion, let it sweat. And then all this liquid will be out. You add the water, you add the bay leaves, you add salt. And then it cooks for like 40 minutes to maybe an hour. And that's it. It's not like a six to eight hour stock. It's done really quickly, but like... It's proper broth, like this is thick. Uh, and it's good for you when you're not well. For reasons that I have forgotten, but that are totally legitimate and I'm not making up. Maybe the collagen or something. So here's this, it's mostly dry. Um, we'll do this page because we can. And I'm actually going to use this pen to write at the top of my monthly thing on that one um, to do the header. I've been thinking of being one of the many folks who get a pilot parallel to, like, make headers and stuff. But, y'all, like, I never do that. And I just think even as inexpensive as they are, it's probably just not worth it to me. So I'll just continue to use my 1.1 or my fancy dip um, nib or something, you know, you know like pull out my Crayolas, crayons. Just kidding, I got rid of those when I moved. The smell of crayons, who remembers that? Did you have Crayola crayons when you were a kid? Some kids had rose art. I had Crayola. There we go. And let me come back over here. I think this was a quicker one today. I don't know. I have no clue what's happening anymore in the world, in my life. Whatever. So, day 17. Polar lights. I'm really looking forward to this. Um, it's cool. What do you think of it? And also, do you have a parallel? Do you do things with your pins, like make headers and so on? Curious. I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.